All right, in today's video, we are performing a mold remediation job as well as a leak detection. This home is up for sale and we've got three days to figure it out and we're about to get started right now. So this is the home here and this is the room that's uh, that's affected here. We've got a sewer planter bed here. Comes all the way across this way. Planter bed right here. We do have a small leak at the PVC line here, but uh, the general home inspector is what discovered the wet wall in front. Let me go show you what that looks like right now. So before Marco was called out, we had our mold inspector, Alex, come out and do an air test. He detected the moisture. We performed air samples and it came back with high elevations of mold. This is what led us to have to come out here and figure out what's causing the mold. So we're doing that right now. So we're performing a moisture reading test here. You can see, got some moisture. You can see the wall working here as well. We're gonna go ahead and build a critical barrier around this room here just to protect all the content. And then we're gonna add our floor protection here, which Steven is about to do now. What we're gonna do is open this up here and then perform our leak detection and see where this water is coming in, causing the mold contamination. We've got our bags here that we're gonna use. We're gonna take all this planter bed out here, try to save those flowers. So we'll test inside here first, because this is the sort of the wet area. So we'll fill this up with water to about right here and see if there's any sort of water intrusion coming from here and then leading into the, the bedroom there. All right, I'm gonna begin a, uh, I always like running my water test prior while the team is getting ready inside the house. I like to uh, start performing the water test just to get us a head start, especially if there's smaller breaches. This gives us time by the time we open up that wall to see if there's any water plus two. I'm gonna fill this up and if this water level drops, then we know that this, this portion is leaking here. All right, you can see here, almost to the top here. We'll let that sit here for a good 30, 40 minutes or while we're putting up our plastic barrier inside the house and kind of see what happens here. Quick tip here, you guys, if you are thinking about selling your property, one thing you may want to consider is hiring a general home inspector prior to putting it on the market. The reason for this, especially like in this situation, it's a perfect example. They put it on the market, they found these issues, and now it's sort of holding up the sale. So if you hire a home inspector prior, let them do the full inspection, take care of all of those repairs, so when the new buyer comes in and does their home inspection, all of those issues are already taken care of, and it moves that sale along. All right, so we've got a barrier all the way around like this. We're gonna bring our containment at an angle here, so it allows us uh, plenty of room to cut, do all the treatment and the dry down. Okay, I've uh, filled this up twice all the way to the top here. And as you can see, we're down about, oh, uh, less than a half of an inch. Not seeing any bubbles though. The problem with this planter though, guys, regardless if this is the issue or not, is as you can see, this is level here. So the way I would have built this is you take this top portion off. So you always want things to slope away from the house. So if they're watering the plants and water sits on here, it's gonna pull, eventually get into this wood area here. So this is kind of a bad design. So that's something to consider. All right, you can see here, we've got our uh, critical barrier, the zipper door. Now we're ready to, uh, to cut. And there's some uh, black mold right there. And again, that's directly behind that. Yeah, see this guys, it's uh, this is about 20 minutes later and we're dropping. We're down about a little bit more than a half of an inch or half an inch. So this could be the suspect area right here. See here, there's a lot of moisture on this corner here. Pretty wet? It's wet. Pretty wet, yeah, it is. Especially right here. That's wet. Okay, now that we've got the wall cavity exposed, we're gonna do a very light spray here. Wanna stay kind of in this area like this. 
All right, so just do that, Marco. I'm gonna go back inside and see if we're getting any water. Got water. So, you can see here, look at how much water there is. So we know it's coming from the, uh, yeah, look at that, all along here. All right, so we definitely know that it's that, uh, that planter bed. So this is the main problem right here, guys. Water seeping through. It looks good to the eye. So we, that's why it's important to do the proper leak detection steps to really determine and figure out where that water source is. There's no point in doing any mold remediation unless you determine what the water source is. That side's good, huh? Yeah. Good. So anytime you're doing mold remediation, you want to go at least two to three feet beyond the affected area just to make sure. And so we verified that uh, nothing past this bay is affected. So more than likely, this is a, uh, even though it looks like a, it's obviously a black mold, this is probably an Aspergillus penicillium. So this is what came back high on the, on the readings. guys well there you have it another mold remediation and a very successful leak detection now these clients can move on and fix the leak they've got their own contractor that's going to be doing the waterproofing we've uh, accomplished a lot today we're going to perform the dry down for them for the next 24 to 48 hours they should be good to go hey leave your comments down below hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one